There's no place like home on tonight's Wizard of Oz-themed Masked Singer episode. To celebrate the 85th anniversary of the classic film, the show transformed into the Emerald City. The panelists kicked things off by skipping down the yellow brick road in costume, with Robin Thicke as Oz, Ken Jong as the Cowardly Lion, Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg as Glinda the Good Witch, and Rita Ora as Dorothy. Never to be outdone, Nick Cannon showed up riding in on a hot air balloon to introduce Leon Rhymes, who performed Somewhere Over the Rainbow and proved once again why she won season four as the sun. Other Ozworthy touches throughout the night included clips from the film playing before each clue package, as well as flying monkeys, Miss Gulch, and a little dog on hand to give clues on stage. Wednesday's episode featured an all-new batch of singers, this time from Group B. Gumball performed a mashup of If I Only Had a Heart by Jack Haley and Heartbeat Song by Kelly Clarkson, Miss Cleocatra belted Stormy Weather by Etta James. Afghan Hound brought the laughs with The Lion Sleeps Tonight by The Tokens and Beats capped off the night with Home by Michael Bublé. The season also featured its first Smackdown, and for some reason Gumball was sent to it to sing Ding Dong. The Witch is Dead, alongside Afghan Hound. It was a rough night for the Hound, who didn't stand a chance, but had a lot of fun in the process, telling the panel, I know singing is not for me, I don't know what a note is, nor do I know what rhythm is, but it was a good experience. Final guesses included Bethany Frankel Thick, Brooke Hogan, McCarthy Wahlberg, Olivia Jade, Jong, and Sistine Stallone, Aura. In the end, none of them got it right. An Afghan hound shed her coat to reveal reality TV and Crisley knows best star Savannah Crisley. Ahead of the reveal, Entertainment Weekly spoke with Crisley about why she did the show, what her parents Todd and Julie, who are currently in prison, will say when they watch, what the family's future reality show aspirations are, what else she's working on, and more. First of all, I just want to say I love that you went out there and did your thing, knowing singing is not your forte. Savannah Crisley. Yeah, it was actually funny because leading up to it, they were like, all right, we've got your vocal lessons, all this. I was like, guys, it's pointless. I have no musical abilities. There's somebody sitting here trying to do a vocal lesson, and it's like, thank you, but no thank you. It's not going to make this voice sound any better than it already does. So I just went in completely blind. I did one little vocal thing when I got there, and then I just said, screw it. Let's get this over with. Why did you want to do The Masked Singer, and why was now the right time to do it? I wanted to do it because this year I like to say it's my year of yes. So I don't want to turn down any opportunity that comes my way, but also whenever it comes to TV stuff, my parents can watch this. So if it means that they get to watch it and still feel like they're a part of our life and get to laugh a little bit, then I will embarrass myself a thousand times over just to make that happen. So does this mean your parents know you did the show? So they know that I did it, and obviously they don't know which one I am or who I am because I was like, hey, that takes the fun out of it. I want you to watch it yourself. So I'm really excited for that. So they'll be watching on Wednesday, you think? Yep, they sure will. And what do you think they're going to say? What do you think your reviews are going to be like? Well, they're going to die laughing. My father's going to be like, please don't ever sing again. Because out of our family, he is the only one with any musical abilities. So honestly, they're just going to be hysterically laughing and ask me to not ever sing again, which I will totally respect and hop on board with. Does you doing The Masked Singer mean you're open to more shows like this? Is your family open to doing more TV down the line, TMS, or otherwise? Yeah, I know that we're obviously in discussions with a few different networks on another reality show, so we have that. But I'm also working on a really awesome documentary that I'm doing, and then getting involved in potentially a flip or flop type show. So there's so many things that I kind of have my hands in at the moment, but when it comes to competition shows, I would love to do Survivor or one of these really crazy shows, because like I said, life is so short, so I might as well just say yes to everything. If something comes my way, whether it's Dancing with the Stars or something else, I'm like, yep, I will do it without even a second thought. What can you tell me about the documentary you're working on? There's a little portion of it that's focused on just my family's legal case, but then also the criminal justice reform that I'm involved in and working with a few really top-notch lobbyists and lawyers to testify in front of Congress just on things that I have uncovered and just the abuse that's gone on in our system. So it's going to take it full circle and touch on those things. I'm super excited for it. What was your biggest takeaway from doing The Masked Singer? My takeaway was to just have fun. Don't take life so serious, because frankly, that's what I do.
Everything in my life is so serious and I have a tendency to be super uptight. So it allowed me to see that, hey, you can have fun in life. You can embarrass yourself, you can laugh at yourself, and you're fine. And so doing that, it made it all worth it. That was the thing. If I can show my siblings that, hey, life is not all serious, and that's really what I want to teach them. It's just like, go out, have fun, don't care what people say about you. And just as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters.